Hello and welcome. My name is Nick Lannon, and today uh, what we're going to be doing is installing a few prongs, four to be exact, uh, in the four corners to oblige this stem. Okay. All the metal and all the uh, solder we're going to be using is sterling silver. I'll be using sterling silver uh, medium solder to attach the prongs with. Uh, the stone is pretty big and it's a cabochon and um, you know some of the, the walls and the, the outside corners and the, the girdles and whatever other name you got for it on the, the raw natural uh, stones that generally aren't symmetrical or you know uniform or anything like that so you kinda gotta be a little bit forgiving and kinda plan for that so in order to kinda escape some of the uh, problems you might have I use a little bit thicker of a material uh, and this is actually 14 gauge sterling silver wire and it's dead soft uh, and we'll, we'll just begin. I don't know how much talking I'll be doing during this whole process here, but, um, you know, if I find some sort of tip or, or you know, if I think of something, I'll, I'll uh, shout it out. But other than that, I might be kind of quiet. So just uh, enjoy the show, okay? So I'm going to begin by coating uh, the pendant with a mixture of boric acid and denatured alcohol. And this is going to help me with uh, fire scale, oxidization, and uh, things of that nature. I will be doing a full polish, you know all the way around this thing so I'm not terribly worried about oxidization other than you know it inhibiting the flow of solder or you know not allowing the solder to go where I would like it to go um, so that being said I'm gonna get started here just firing up my torch here Take this guy a little second to get warmed up here. I don't know if you can see that or not, but there's a green flame. And that's the denatured alcohol. Well, fun fact, the, the regular alcohol actually burns blue. But um, you, you definitely want to be using the denatured alcohol. I think it... it works a little bit better and burns a little bit slower as well. So what I'm doing now is I'm just heating up my wire a little bit and I'm going to dunk it in some flux. And flux is what allows the solder to flow in a molten liquid state in an oxygen free environment. And it also has a couple other chemicals to help, um, you know, allow it to move around.
can grab some more solder here. Seems on even surfaces sometimes they're a little bit weird to deal with. There we go. Calm that down. So I quenched it to cool it off. Basically, this is what we're left with right here. You can see all that. What's on there nice and sturdy. Now, I was talking about earlier with like uh, the stone. Sometimes you, uh, you know, you need a little bit more meat on the prong area to deal with the stone, you know, depending on what the stone looks like. So, what I like to do is just go ahead and as I'm going, Put the stone up here and make sure I'm you know kind of in the right place do it this way So I think this one's going to be okay where I've got it. I probably could have went a little bit uh, higher on the the back plate just for a little bit ease of setting. I'm just going to make a little, little scratch where I want to put my next post. And, you know, while we're here, we can take a look at the the landscape of where we have to put the prong and uh, you know make a decision or judgment how long you know or how tall off of the the back plate that we need to be for the prong and with this one this stone looks looks okay but some of them are you know really uneven really fat for example this side let me put this down this side here is much skinnier than than this side. It's a little bit heavier. So wherever these corners are, you know, you may want a little bit more prong on this side than you would on this side. And you know, we're really not looking for looks per se at this point. What we're doing is is talking structure and you know durability. How long will this pendant last if I cut the prong here? All right. So do a little bit of thinking about that when you're in the moment and for me you know generally I've got a, a good idea of where things need to be at and how they need to be sitting and what they need to be looked at because I've done this a billion times but if you're new you know that's something to think about so I'm going to go ahead and continue here takes a minute to get set up. I don't know if you've noticed or not, but I'm a little shaky this morning. I had like four cups of coffee. So, uh, th there's another little recommendation. You know, if you're going to be doing some sensitive work on the torch, uh, maybe not drink so much coffee. I'm not saying stay off of coffee altogether. I'm saying, you know, <laughs> limit yourself a little bit. At least until after the sensitive material is done. And it's coffee away, right?
So basically, I'm just going to, from this point forward, I'm just going to make them all about the same height. And that way I know I have at least that much material to deal with. And if all else fails and it's real bad, I'll just take one off and put another one on. Right. Okay, I think I know where I have to go now. Just back around. Okay. Now, you know, some of you might look at this and you know, you're like, well, he's not pickling in between, stuff like that. I'll be honest with you, you know, on, on gold, I do pickle in between soldering joints. I mean, it really just depends on what I'm doing. Majority of the time with sterling silver, um, and if it's heavy enough where I can get in there with some heat and some flux and some solder, I can really just kind of do what I want. Uh, you know what I'm saying, like it, uh, as far as, you know, the metal adhering to itself. You know, with gold, it's a little bit more touchy. See if this will fit in there. <clears throat> like a glove. Okay. And now my next move here. I used a ton of solder on that too. You know, a lot of times with these uh, these textured backgrounds and stuff like that, you don't you don't get the best uh, grip uh, without a lot of solder. And if it you know if it stuck out behind the stone a little bit, or you know, I could tell, like maybe I, I just take like a bulber, or, you know, something and go down there and kind of clean it up.
There it is. For moment of truth here. Look at that. And to answer your question, yes, it is hot on the, the soldering board. So from here, it will go in a chemical bath called a pickling solution, and uh, after that, it'll get rinsed and polished. It, I may even throw it in the tumbler for a little bit, uh, but it'll definitely go all bright, high polish everywhere, and then I will set the stone and polish it again. Be on the lookout for this item. Thanks for watching, and I hope you enjoyed the video. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them in and around this video somewhere. I intend on putting it in quite a few different places, so just kind of play along. All right, thanks.